We're going now to the Southern White House. We have a lot of work we're going to be doing. Uh, we put out a statement on Saudi Arabia, which I guess most of you have seen. And we'll see how that all works out. It's a very complex situation. It's a shame, but it's, it is what it is. Because it's America first for me. It's all about America first. We're not going to give up hundreds of billions of dollars in orders and let Russia, China, and everybody else have them. It's all about, for me, very simple. It's America first. Uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, if we broke with them, I think your oil prices would go through the roof. I've kept them down. They've helped me keep them down. Right now, we have low oil prices, or relatively, I'd like to see it go down even lower. lower. But I think that it's a very simple equation for me. I'm about make America great again, and I'm about America first. What do you want Pakistan to do in the fight against terrorism? Saudi Arabia has nothing to do with me. What does have to do with me is putting America first. Wait, 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 wait. They're buying hundreds of billions of dollars worth of things from this country. If I say we don't want to take your business, if I say we're going to cut it off, they will get the equipment, military equipment and other things from Russia and China. Russia and China would be very, very happy because right now we're doing very well against China. We're doing very well against everybody, including Russia. And I'm going to keep it that way. And I'm not going to tell a country that's spending hundreds of billions of dollars and has helped me do one thing very importantly, keep oil prices down so that they're not going to $100 and $150 a barrel. Right now, we have oil prices in great shape. I'm not going to destroy the world economy, and I'm not going to destroy the economy for our country by being foolish with Saudi Arabia. So I think the statement, wait a minute, I think the statement uh, was pretty obvious what I said. It's about America first, yeah. They didn't make a determination. Uh, and it's just like I said, I think it was very, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. They did not make that assessment. The CIA has looked at it. They've studied it a lot. They have nothing definitive. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. If you look at Iran, what they've done, they've been a bad actor. You look at what's happening in Syria with Assad, with hundreds of thousands of people killed. We are with Saudi Arabia. We're staying with Saudi Arabia. And by the way, just so everybody, I have no business whatsoever with Saudi Arabia. Couldn't care less. Ivanka's emails, why was it appropriate for your daughter to use personal email for Just so you understand, business? early on and for a little period of time, Ivanka did some emails. Uh, they weren't classified like Hillary Clinton. Yep. They weren't deleted like Hillary Clinton, who deleted 33. She wasn't hiring. She wasn't doing anything to hide her emails. I looked at it just very briefly today, and the presidential records, they're all in presidential records. There was no hiding. There was no deleting like Hillary Clinton did. There was no service in the basement like Hillary Clinton had. You're talking about a whole different, you're talking about all fake news. So what Ivanka did, it's all in the presidential records. Everything is there. There was no deletion, there was no nothing. What it is is a false story. Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails. She had a server in the basement. That's the real story.